Minions offer incredible potential to any Skyblock profile, but it's the very specific setups which makes them reliable. Other than going for collections, minions are mostly used to earn passive income on a Skyblock island and when set up correctly, can really help to boost the coins a player has. However, I see a lot of people who don't know which minions to use or how to set them up, so in this video I'm going to cover 3 of the most efficient ways that you can set up your minions to maximise your profits. But before this video starts, I'd like to quickly say that if you have any further questions or comments about this video, be sure to pop into my Twitch chat, I stream every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the links are down in the description below. We have a lot of open discussions over there, so I highly recommend checking it out. With that being said, let's get straight into it. Okay, so as you can see we're here on my Skyblock Island and right behind me is a little minion setup that I actually covered in a separate video and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So the first minion sort of setup that you can use is a setup that involves using minions that are normally the higher tier minions. So time minions are more prestigious than other minions because they're really expensive to craft. However, each one of these tarantula spiders gives you a lot of different mob drops and that's what makes these so good. So the first setup here is just higher monetary value, better minions as such, better quality items that you can get from the minions which allows you to sell that for a lot of money. So if you can see here, all these minions will be killing these tarantula spiders. These spiders, if I just kill them really quickly here, you can see that if we go to our combat sack, they collect string, spider eye, and they also collect iron as well. So because they collect three different items and these minions always go hard at work, taking them out and doing their thing, you can just grab a ton of enchanted iron, enchanted string, enchanted spider eyes. All that sells for a pretty solid amount of money and it can get you about like two mil a day if you use this setup here and maybe like a couple of others if you have a separate pod or more minions however this one does use a lot of money in the beginning because you need to spend a ton of money to upgrade these guys and actually get them to a decent tier where they're able to produce a certain amount of materials and if you choose to go even further mine are currently tier 4 it's going to be way more expensive than that and it might actually not be worth it in that case because you're going to end up spending so much money to upgrade them and you're not going to be able to earn that back anytime soon but that's the first method I want to talk about today, it's just having a higher monetary value type minion. You can also do this with Revenant minions, obviously not this setup in particular, but Revenant minions do the same thing, they give you a lot of rotten flesh, and if you craft them into zombie hearts, or if you just sell them at the bazaar, that sells for a lot of money as well. But, let's head over to the second setup that I want to cover, a different style of money making method, which is probably my favourite one with minions, uh, and we'll go do that right now. Okay, so as you can see here, we are over on the second profile now. The reason why I've switched over to a different profile is because over here on this one, I actually use two different strategies to earn money with my minions, and I have different setups over here to maximize my profit. Because I don't play on this profile so much, it's important that I manage to maximize my passive income, because then I can use it to upgrade some of my other gear. As you can see, we're using full unstable, but I would like to upgrade it to strong or potentially even superior later down the line as well. Um, but with that being said, let's head down over here to where my minions are at, just down in this little cave. And you'll be able to see, as we walk in, the first thing you're going to see are these snow minions. Now, you can tell that I used to have redstone minions in these areas, but I did remove them because I am going to be trying to get a little bit of money out of my snow minions. And you may be asking, why are snow minions good? Like, what do they do specifically? Why do, ev why do people pay so much money for snow minions in lobbies, and what makes them so great? Well... Let me show you this real quickly. So if we open the Skyblock menu, and you head to your collections, you head to your crafted minions, and then you check out Snow Minion. If you see here with the tier 11, because that's what we're using, the time between actions is 6.5 seconds. Now, if you did not know already, that is the fastest interaction speed in the game that any minion can actually give you. Like, if we have a look at, let's say, Clay, which a lot of people tend to think is really good, the Clay interaction speed is 16 seconds, which is significantly higher than the Snow Minions that we're using right here. And for this reason alone, if you put snow minions down and then you have diamond springs as well with some super compactors, they will collect not only a ton of enchanted snow, but they'll collect a lot of diamonds in the meantime. And these will eventually stack up with the more minions you've got. That'll sell for a lot of money at the NPC because the bazaar normally charges you a little bit less than what it would be at the NPC. And that in turn makes you a lot of money and is really, really profitable. So snow minions are a really great option. Another one right now is actually ice minions. So if we head over to the collections again, we check out ice minion, the tier 11 has a 7 second interaction speed. A little bit slower than the snow minions with a 0.5 second difference but once again, it's going to be very fast. If you throw diamond springs onto ice minions, they should make you roughly the same amount of money as snow minions will and also another thing that's happening right now at the time of me recording this video, ice prices are really really high up now thanks to the frozen scythe and buffs to the mage class for dungeons so that in turn actually leads us over to our next point which is going to be setting up minions that make money thanks to what the market is looking like and bizarre 
prices. So, you can see here that on this floor of my minions, I actually have redstone minions placed. I don't have snow minions like I did over there. Now, you may be asking, why am I using redstone here? Like, what did redstone offer? If you check the redstone interaction speeds once again, you can see the tier 11 interaction speed is 18 seconds. And I'm actually using tier 7 redstone minions, which is 23 second interaction speed, which is not the fastest, if I do say so myself. Definitely much slower than snow minions. But there is one thing that redstone has, which snow doesn't. And it's the fact that redstone right now also sells for a lot of money on the bazaar, thanks to the release of the new personal compactors. As you can see, we have the personal compactor 4000 here, requires a a lot of enchanted redstone if you head over to the personal compactor 5000 as well this one requires even more than that and then if you forget the final upgraded one which is the 6000 you're gonna need a lot of enchanted redstone blocks and by having these minions placed down that's gonna earn me a lot of money because I can sell these high valued items and this really just depends on what the market is like at the moment and you got to make your moves off of that so like I said before I highly recommend you just chuck down maybe redstone if you want to or you chuck down some ice minions or something that is just what's really really profitable in the moment. If I tell you what to place down, the chances are that in the next few months or maybe even the next few weeks, these will actually be completely useless. Maybe redstone is going to be really bad in the next few weeks and we'll see. Maybe we'll swap them out. Maybe I won't. But the fact is, this is a very flexible setup as it allows you to just switch them out for a whole bunch of different minions. I know that gold as well, gold and flint sell for a lot of money because if we actually head over to the bazaar really quickly, you can see that things like gold and teeth are actually pretty expensive. Now, right now, these aren't going as much as they used to before, which might be just a leading cause of people, too many people doing the same strategy. But if you're able to produce a lot of gold and maybe turn in some wolf teeth or wolf teeth drops you get from doing Sven bosses, you can earn a lot of money from things. I'm just using gold as an example here because the Slayer drop, it's always going to be expensive. Obviously, one enchanted gold here is only going to go for 1.1k, but if you have stacks and stacks of it, or even enchanted gold blocks from your minions, these are going to go for a lot of money. Now, another good option for this strategy is going to be flint. So if we just check out the enchanted flint prices, pretty similar to gold here. They're a little bit more expensive, though. Flint is actually used to make tarantula silk in the Slayer collections as well. And because these are some high-valued Slayer items that people are always looking to buy, this is going to be relatively expensive, sort of all year round as such. They're not really going to drop. They're not really going to get more expensive. So that's another thing that you can keep in mind, is to always keep an eye on the market and sort of go off of what is best. Once again, let me just reiterate with ice. If you just check, look at these prices for enchanted packed ice, these are going going for about 300k per, and if you have a lot of ice minions placed down at once, these are going to make a lot of money, as well as enchanted ice if you don't get to convert all of it into enchanted packed ice. So that essentially is the main premise of this video and how you want to set up your minions and also just sort of the three biggest strategies that I would use when actually making money with minions. So over on the main profile you saw we're using tarantula minions just because those ones produce so many items. You can just sell a range of different things for a lot of money. You can go for a speedy strat where you use snow or ice or just really fast interaction time minions because those make you a lot of money as well. Or you can go for the bizarre strategy where you just check out what the market is looking like, what sells for a lot of money and then going off of that because that honestly probably the best method and if you use that one really well you can probably make up to like four million coins per day depending on how many minion slots you have and also how you do it as well now the last thing that I want to cover in this video is a couple of common misconceptions that I see a lot of people talking about and sort of some things that has been going around for a long time in the Hypixel Skybot community and just clear things up and tell you what actually works and what really doesn't. So the first thing I want to get into is clay minions. Now for whatever reason, people seem to think that placing clay minions actually makes you a lot of money just because that's the way it's been. And while, while this is half true, it's also not quite true. And this is solely because clay minions, back when Hypixel didn't have the bazaar, when the market was different and things were slightly different, sort of a couple of updates ago before pets and all of that, clay was one of the highest selling items to NPCs. And because clay sold for so much at the NPCs because it was a hard item to get, normally you would obtain it from fishing. That is why it would sell for a lot of money. And that is why clay minions used to be the best money making minion at that time. But with the recent changes over the weeks, we've had the release of the snow minion. You can see the prices of things have changed the bazaar comes out clan minions sort of dwindled down and now they're pretty much useless they just don't make anything anymore compared to what you can get nowadays and another thing that I also want to cover is the use of magma cream minions. So if I just go over to my combat collection and just show you the magma cube minion, you can see here that the tier 11, once again, 18 second time between action. That's a pretty average interaction speed. I see that a lot with most minions. It's in between 12 to 30 or so. And once again, not a quick minion, not very useful either. The magma cream doesn't sell for too much money anymore, thanks to the release of the bazaar and the NPCs. But back when those things didn't exist, setting up a nice magma 
magma cream farm, which would get like flooded by water or something. This is not a magma cream farm by any means. But you get the idea. People would set up these huge grinders for magma cubes, and that would make a lot of money just because you could AFK that on your island when you were not doing anything, and that would give you some extra passive income, which at the time wasn't beat by anything else. So that about wraps up today's video for you guys. Hopefully I was able to clear up a couple of things regarding minions. Maybe it helps you out, maybe it doesn't. But regardless, it was quite fun to make this video. And also I feel like I shared a lot of interesting insight about a couple of different minions, different strategies you can use. And that way you can sort of look at this information, pick out what works best for you, and just stick with that and see how it goes. But with that being said, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video once again. If you did, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel because I make these Hypixel Skyblock videos every Wednesdays and Fridays. And also, if you have any further questions about this video, some comments, or maybe you've got a suggestion for a future video, be sure to pop into my Twitch streams. I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The links are down in the description below. But that's going to be it for me today. And as always, take care and peace. I can type it chat. Oh, I no 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 I see you bro. <laughs> I love just grappling across half the map. <laughs>